Well, Craig, I think you tweeted pretty much as soon as the draw was made how excited you were about the prospect of this FA Cup tie. Yeah, definitely. Um, it would be obviously I haven't been back to St Andrews since since I left, and um, I've always said that I want to I want to go back there one day. Um, and uh, obviously, um, we've, we've got I'm in the FA Cup, and it's going to be it's going to be a great great day and a great game, hopefully. I think it was one of those when the draw came out that I think everyone a big sort of big intake of breath and thought oh, that's going to be an absolutely cracking game and yeah. now it's three o'clock on a Saturday as well it really is a good old fashioned cup tie isn't it yeah definitely um, yeah, for, for, for Blues fans it'll be a bit like um, obviously when we played when, when I was at Birmingham we played Villa in the quarterfinals of the League Cup it's going to be that sort of atmosphere hopefully so it'll be a great game for all the players and, and all the fans involved I know the Albion fans were very keen because they snapped up the tickets the initial allocation of tickets in very quick time and then there were, there were big queues when some extra tickets went on sale as well yeah, definitely. Yeah, and that's um, to be fair. The, the the fans this season have been brilliant, um, following us all over, obviously all over the country. And um, and when, when when times were a bit tough as well, they they got us through it as well. So, um, but hopefully now we can we can push on, and the fans have been brilliant this season. So, should make for a fantastic atmosphere, shouldn't it? Definitely, all all, all derbies are a big atmosphere, especially especially cup games because FA Cups obviously um, one of the biggest cups. So um, as I say, we just can't wait now to get out there on Saturday. And you're not alone, obviously, because you've got uh, Ben Foster in the team as well, who's uh, another one who'll be going back to St Andrews. Yeah, Fuzzy as well and Boaz as well. So um, they've obviously both played for Birmingham as well. And But as I say, we're just really looking forward to going back there, um, seeing the stadium full, seeing all the, the, the Blues fans, the, the Baggies fans and old faces that I haven't seen for a while. So it's going to be a, a great day. You had some great times at St Andrews, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there was... Um, I loved it there, to be honest, and um, it was it was sad it was sad for me to go, but uh, these things happen, and um, I had some obviously winning the cup there was 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 one of the high biggest and the highs of career, and obviously getting relegated was a was a, a, a big big low. So, but as I say, it's a it's a massive club, and um, hopefully under Gary Rowett now they're getting back to where they where they should be. Yeah, they do really seem to have turned the corner since Gary Rowett went there. Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously he's, he's played for the club before as a player. He knows what the fans want. He knows what the what the fans need. He knows what they expect, and I think that's what he's bringing to the club, and and, and that's a big big plus for him. As you say, lots of old friends to see before kick off, but once you're out there, I mean, this is a massive game, and there's so much at stake. Yeah, of course, it's a it's 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 a it's a FA Cup game. It's a massive massive game. It's a it's a derby. It's you got all the bragging rights for for Birmingham City fans, for West Bromwich Albion fans, for for everybody. So it's um, it's a massive game for both both teams, um, and. Um, and we just can't wait to get out there now and put on a performance. In these games, is it all about that first sort of 15, 20 minutes and making sure that you make your mark on the game? Local derbies, they, they can go either way. Um, it's it's all about who turns up on the day, who wants it more. Um, you see tackles flying in, you see things happen that no, don't normally happen in normal games, and, um, and that's what makes local derbies so special. Um, you, you've got both sets of fans sinking and, and getting behind you, so as I say, it's, it's just going to be a great game. And the great thing for this as well is, I mean, Tony's already made it clear, did so with the Gateshead game, that he's taken the FA Cup very seriously and he's not going to put out any sort of weakened team. Well, yeah, I think I think that's the way to do it because the, the further you get in the cup, you, you take the momentum into, into the league, you start winning more league games and, and that's what you want to do. You want to build a team on, on getting results and, and getting used to winning and, and hopefully we can do that. You've had the opportunity to go to Wembley and, and lift the cup. I mean, that's something very special in any player's career and it's presumably something that that drives you on in the FA Cup. Oh, of course. When when you walk out at Wembley, it's like it's, it's like you're in a dream. You need to pinch yourself, and and then hopefully I can achieve that again in my career because it's it's by far the one, the, the, the best day I've ever had. So. And you'll know already that I mean, Albion fans are desperate to get that there and have another taste of the FA Cup final. They've, they've come close semi final in recent years, but that, that final has been elusive. Yeah, definitely. But that's what that's what we want to do. That's what we set out to do. That's what we aim for as a, as a player. It's your job to win every game that you're playing, and that's what you get paid for. You wanna. You want to give the fans something back, what they put into us, and, and hopefully we can go as far as we can and hopefully get to the final for the fans. And just tell us about Tony and the impact he's had since he came in. Yeah, the gaffer's been brilliant, obviously. Um, in training, it, it, it's, you, you've probably seen in the, in the games that he's been here. We haven't conceded the goal. We think it's three clean sheets, and that's, that's a big, big plus. Um, if we start scoring more goals going up the, up the pitch, we, we'll, 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 we'll crack on and do really well in the league. He's come in, he's got us really, really organised. Um, and it, you can just tell that what he says is is what he wants and, and that's what and that's what we want to do, we want to pull it in because for him really because he's, he's giving it everything on the training pitch and it's only fair that we give everything back what he's trying to install into us.
yeah, he's somebody that comes and he's got a very clear idea of what he wants from you all. Yeah, definitely, and he, he sets it out straight away when he, when he first came in. He, he just tells us straight, this is what's happening, this is what we're going to do, this is how we stop conceding goals, this is how we start scoring goals, and the, the, the conceding goals stopped, now we've got to work on his way of getting us to, con to start scoring goals, which is going to work.